Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Lifestyles update. Hi, I'm Nasir Ransom and this is Location Lifestyles. And I'm Emily Krause. Rihanna was missing from Monday's 2016 Grammy Awards on CBS. The 27-year-old pop sensation was set to perform live on the Grammy stage that night, but canceled last minute. Rihanna canceled her performance due to an infection she's been battling. According to E! News, the doctors told her that the antibiotics she has been taking has not fully taken effect yet, and she would risk hemorrhaging her vocal cords. Rihanna is on vocal rest for the next two days. She did tweet later that night saying, Hashtag Navy, so sorry I couldn't be there. Thanks Grammys and CBS for your support tonight. Well, hopefully she gets better soon. I know, but, I really missed her. Yeah, well, Big Sean has been digging back into his roots by helping out the less fortunate students in Detroit. He started out by donating backpacks filled with school supplies mm. to the public schools. He also helped out the students by purchasing school uniforms for the kids who couldn't afford them. His old high school also has a new recording studio built in it, and his foundation is called the Sean Anderson Foundation, which he started with his mom a couple years ago. It's really nice of him to give back like that. Mm -hmm. Looking for something fun to do this weekend? Come out to the dance this Saturday, February 20th, from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. The dance will be in Grace Hall and is hosted by the Science Club. Tickets are just $3. February is Black History Month. Student Diversity Office has been holding events to celebrate the month-long celebration. Let's see how they are commemorating this month. Black History Month is so important for us to talk about because it's a celebration, um, an acknowledgement of all the contributions and history uh, of those um, in the African American and black community. It's important to celebrate so people could honor African Americans that paved the way for society, like inventors and um, sports stars, um, actresses, actors, and political figures. The importance of having this program tonight, um, it is having ally training is one of our, uh, uh, our programs that we offer continuously throughout the year to be able to help educate uh, campus um, about different identities and ways in which that we can be an ally to those people who might be uh, who might identify uh, with uh, identify differently than us um, and how can we support and build an inclusive community every um, race should be celebrated just not black history month but I don't know I, when I think of it I think of like inventors and a lot of stuff we use every day African Americans invented it it sounds like the students and faculty at Cabrini are enjoying reflecting on the rich history. Wow, well that's really nice to know. Kate Hudson's been having a lot of success with her new line of activewear. Fabletics was co-founded by Kate and now ladies everywhere can get fashion forward activewear. Mm. The best part about it is that it's affordable but even more important, it's high quality. You can even wear these outfits for other than exercising and still look great. You can get complete outfits starting at just $49.95, and yes, that includes a top and a bottom. Speaking of fashion, this week at Cabrini, we spotted some people on fleek. When the weekend rolled around, I saw sophomores Gabby Lee and Cassie Naves, who were dressed to impress. Cassie had on a high-low skirt with a long sleeve top, while Gab was rocking a backless halter top and fitted palazzo pants. Ronda Rousey admitted to Ellen on her show yesterday that she contemplated suicide after the 29-year-olds were defeated by Holly Holm in November at UFC 193. Her spirits were low. On the show, she says, in the medical room, she sat in the corner thinking, what am I anymore if not this? She wanted to kill herself. The only thing that kept her from committing suicide was her boyfriend, Travis Brown, and the future that they would have together. Rhonda is doing a lot better today, and all of her scars, both physical and emotional, have healed. We look forward to seeing Rhonda back in action. Wow. Well, that's great that her boyfriend was able to be there yeah. for her. Great for her. But Chloe and Lamar, could it really be true? The couple has been spotted together at Kanye West Yeezy Season 3 show, according to E! News. The show has been held this past Thursday at the Madison Square Garden. And this has us wondering if the two are back together. 
This is one of the first times the couple has been spotted together aside from celebrating Lamar's latest birthday together. Wow. Thanks for watching Location Lifestyles. Be sure to check us out on our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Nasia Ransom. And I'm Emily Krause. Have a great week, Cabrini.